Sports Now on Minko Sports Network. Woo! Welcome back to Varsity Sports Now, our North Dakota Championship preview. Jay Elson, Jason Andare. One more game to talk about, and it comes in the nine-man ranks, Jason. Both these teams have had championship experience, Cavalier mm -hmm. and West Hope newberg Glenburg. But the Sioux came into this one. They were a runner-up last year in Class A, dropped mm -hmm. down to the nine-man ranks and got back to the Dakota Bowl. But this Cavalier team was something special. Yeah, Cavalier has also dropped from higher ranks in the past years. Last year came up short at the nine-man level. This year, you had a feeling things might be a little different. Lots of offense in this one, Jason, at least for Cavalier. Ryan Crest, the quarterback, got things started on the first drive of the game, breaks loose for a 57-yard touchdown. Tornadoes touchdown. They're up 8 nothing right off the bat. And then you see the one of the best plays of the game for WNG, a fake punt. Passed by Reshell, caught by Chase Conway. It set them up what they thought was scoring position, one of their best opportunities of the day. Yeah, but at fourth and six in Cavalier territory, Jeff Stiff takes care of it, drops Hunter Broughton, and they take over on Dow. Ryan Crest again then on the ensuing possession. There he goes again, it's 34 so, yards this time. Yeah, it's so hard. You've got outside contain. You actually contain him. And then he still gets by you for the uh, the speed that he's got. And he does it on defense. He play a little defense as well. Beautiful leaping interception of the Broughton pass there. And Crest sets up the offense. He's going to spread the wealth a little bit this time. Hands it off to Brock Robbins. He gets the two-yard touchdown. 24 nothing, and there's still 10.39 yeah, to go. In this half. is early second quarter. They've already poured it on, hit all their two-point conversions, haven't made a mistake. You got to be feeling like this was Cavaliers' day. Oh, but it's Robbins again here, right? Just a few minutes later, gets a four-yard touchdown. The next drive, it's 32 to nothing. Still over two minutes to play in the half, and uh, just before the half, Cavalier gets some quote-unquote insurance. Crest scrambles. Stems this play with his legs. Yeah. Great job here. He's going to go 52 yards this time for the touchdown. It's the final play of the first half. Ooh, it, that play touchdown. was amazing. He almost was sacked in the backfield. He got out of one other tackle, and then he just cruises in on that nine-man field. So many holes, and Ryan Crest, he had a day to remember. Yeah, they left the field after that first half, feeling like champions, and they'd add an exclamation point right here. It's Chase Walton. He's going to get free, and... Sprinting toward the end zone, 76 yards. Just remember, guys, three seniors on this team that gave up zero points in the regular season and averaged a 57-3 to win uh, up to this point. Crest uh, wasn't quite done yet. Gets his second pick of the day on defense, and it just kind of helped uh, salt this one away uh, if it wasn't already. Cavalier, a winner, 54-6. to They put up a Dakota Bowl record, 519 yards rushing on this day. 377 of those oh boy. came from Crest. That was also a Dakota Bowl record. He had four touchdowns, the two interceptions on defense for Cavalier. First title since 2004. We knew if they had a good quarterback and we knew if we had to stop him on defense, but I knew our offense would come through and our line would give us some good holes. We like to start the game on offense, and uh, right away, you know, we put it in our playmakers' hands there, Ryan Crest, and he went out and made a great play, made a great run in the open field, and uh, got us uh, got us on the board. And from that time, uh, we just we held that momentum and uh, put it in our defense's hands, and we're pretty confident in our defense that they're going to go out and uh, make plays for us. And all day long, they did that. So uh, really happy for the guys, really happy for our uh, community and fans, and. Uh, you know, just so proud of everything we did today. It feels great to win by that much because it's like redemption for our older brothers that lost and last year's people who lost coming in the semifinals that came so close. But it feels really good to make it up for that. You know, it's, it's going to be a fun locker room there, fun celebration with our fans uh, in the hospitality room. So, uh, you know, it's a great day to be a tornado. The hardware has been handed out. When we come back, Jason will offer up some final thoughts on the 2013 season in North Dakota high school football. Varsity Sports Now, presented by Shields.